people's minds when they head to the polls next year. And the debate is already raging in states like Indiana, where longtime Senator Richard Lugar is in the fight of his political life. We three, Eric Flack sat down with the senator today to talk about the debt, spending cuts, and his Tea Party challenger. Uh, some within the own, own party are coming after him. Absolutely, and they really want to end Senator Luger's 30-plus year Senate career, and the economy will be central to the campaign. Indiana Senator Richard Luger says he voted for the debt deal because he thinks defaulting would have been a disaster for the U.S. economy. I felt it was very important we at least pin down the gains we had and not rattle the markets further. Now the impact of the spiraling financial crisis is stretching from Wall Street to the campaign trail, where Senator Luger is under heavy fire from his Tea Party opponent for the Republican nomination, Indiana Treasurer Richard Murdoch. Murdoch already launched a campaign ad inferring Luger opposed deeper budget cuts and spending controls. Today, the senator told me that's not true. Some feel that we should have got to $4 trillion, and I'm one of them. The Ryan plan would have done that. But Luger said the compromise deal that ended up passing to raise the U.S. debt ceiling to more than $14 trillion provides $2.4 trillion in savings now and another $1.5 trillion in cuts down the road, either through negotiated reductions to agencies like Medicare, Social Security, and unemployment, or across-the-board cuts that would heavily target defense spending. Luger, a ranking member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, believes defense cuts would not cripple U.S. efforts to fight terrorism. But he warns lawmakers need to be careful. As one who has been fighting the situation with regard to nuclear weapons and biological chemical weapons for the last 20 years, I would just say that only a very few terrorists having some of these weapons of mass destruction could create uh, havoc in any one of our cities in America. Richard Murdoch's website suggests Senator Luger is not a true conservative, calling him Barack Obama's favorite Republican. Senator Luger told me while he does consider himself a friend of the president, he disagreed with his decision to bomb Libya and said the president's stimulus plan was not well focused and only moderately successful. Eric Flack, Wave 3 News.